What's good? This is Joseph Three Banks coming to you again with Run the Comics. And um, just want to say, man, it's, it's been a great time doing these comic hauls. Got a chance to invest in a lot of dope comics. Have a lot of good um, combos between you guys who've been, you know, chatting up in the comments and just I got in touch, been able to get in touch with and stuff like that. Really dope. Um, want to say this will be my last comic book haul for a while. And um, I'm still gonna do videos. I'm still gonna do videos. I have all these comics, so I might as well make some content with it. So I'm gonna plan on do some um, videos detailing my favorite comics, um, artists, authors, different things. So I'm gonna still do that during the year. But this will be my last comic book haul for a minute. I don't know when I'm gonna get back at it, but you know, you gotta save some money, you got family and everything. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get back into it slowly later on uh, in the year. Um, but right now, I've, I've, I've stopped buying comics for probably over a month right now. So a lot of these may be old, but I was able to get some um, books to finish up runs and some, I guess I say, modern grails that I was really looking to get. And I actually was able to get, and I'm definitely going to show it show it with you. But let's run go into these comics so y'all can check them out. Hope it's something that you're in, um, interested in and you'll want to peep. First off, um, Jonathan Mayberry's um, Pandemica, number three. Comic still going strong. Um, it's an interesting story. Uh, artwork is okay, but uh, the story is really pushing forward and really getting to almost where well, you see the cover. You're kind of getting into that right about now, so that's really dope. I read, can't wait to get into this book. I've been I've been loving the story. Middle West number was it 13? Middle West number 13. Dope story from um, Image Comics. You get this. Is it in, in, not in focus. There we go. Mimics Comics, really dope story. You haven't get into that, get into that. Here we have another book. This is really dope from Boom Studios, um, Once in Future. This is issue number five. Really dope story, really dope covers. Um, Dan Moore's artwork is just dope. And I've been liking this story also. It almost reminds me of the 18 days. Remember, if you see my last video, um, number 99, um, I talked about um, 18 days. Well, this is issue number five for Sarah and the Royal Stars. I almost kind of have a feel um, about visiting these, 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 these stars or gods and trying to find them all to kind of help um, the situation that's, that's been brewing. This right here is a, is a dope book. This is number two of a new story. Um, it's called Folklords. This is the um, um, variant, um, version variant for number two. Really dope. And speaking of virgin variants, got another one for something is killing. These virgin variants, I'm really, really, I'm really happy that they've been dropping these at regular prices, regular cover prices, and I'm um, really showcasing some really nice and, and dope artwork. I'm just noticing some things about this artwork from just looking at it. This is something is killing the kids, number three, virgin variant, really dope. I'm um, trying to, you know plug up the holes in this um, particular run, but it's very, very, very cool um, story. It's Black Hammer for Dark Horse Comics, Black Hammer number nine, and also number 10. Really dope. Another series I'm trying to grab, Jupiter Circle number three. Good old Mark Millar and and uh, covers by, um, well, Wilfredo Torres does the interior, but um, um, Frank Quitely does the exterior. So that's number three. And it is number six. Another story which I think they're still going on, but I have not been able to really get into it that much, but this is number two for Oblivion Song, but it's a very interesting story. That's why I kept, that's why I'm getting it, slowly but surely. And this right here, Virgin variant for Spawn. I think this is 302. I don't feel like looking in there, but I'm thinking it's 302. I don't think I got anything after that. So I kind of stopped here. I don't think I'll, I'll make it to 305. I don't know, but I just stopped right here for the moment. This right here from um, Catalyst Prime, Lion Forge Comics. The Seven Days little event. I think it's a three or five issue run. This is number one. And then I found this. This is Seven Days number one. Virgin variant foil cover, um, illustrated by Bill Sankovich. I think that's how I pronounce his name. Really dope. That's number one foil cover. 
And this is number two virgin variant for seven days. Line Forge, really bringing them gains, and really, um, really bringing them gains, really doing some dope work and really have some interesting characters. I've been collecting Noble and um, uh, a few other characters, but really want to check out the seven days. It's a really big event. Next, let's hit up Marvel. This book I've gotten on a previous episode. I may put a link to that episode where I got this book originally, but I, it had a, a, a sticker on it. Comic shop, stop putting stickers on your books. And I tried to get it off, and I was doing pretty okay. Had some glue residue, and I tried to take it off with some, um, what's that stuff called, a glue remover. And I messed the book up, but I was able to find it again in a better condition. And this is the first book written by, or first, I think it was the first story written by um, Alex Ross. It's also illustrated by him. And that's Open Space for Marvel Comics number zero. I'm so happy I got that joint right there. It's just a one shot. Really interesting story. Kind of sad, but really interesting. Um, I have finally been able to show you this one because I got this after number three. This is number two for Invisible Woman. Really dope with her and Black Widow. From the current Black Panther um, story, this is the latest or the last one that came out that I got, number 19. So I think I'm up to date actually with this. I think number 20 comes out this month, but this is number 19. Speaking of Black Panther, I was able to find this older book. Kind of rough shape, but I, like I said in the, I think the last video, I'm starting to like these kind of rough books, but of books that you really want to collect. And this is Jungle Action um, featuring the Black Panther. This is number 16. Putting some Mylar, give it a nice look. Makes the colors pop out even more. So that's really dope. Um, I'm getting these books. So but surely finding some of the older ones. The one to really find is number one. This is Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. This is number eight. And I had this book, which I've been trying to find this book for a very long time because of the artist. The, um, I think he does the interiors also. Yeah, he does the interiors also. It's Frank Cho. He's a really dope artist. And man, I'm glad I actually found this book. This is a dope cover for Guardians of the Galaxy Annual number one. More on the cover, really dope. I would find this book, which is actually an autograph book. I would see it, it was, I think it was on sale. This is a variant for the Onslaught Reborn series that Marvel threw back in the day. And it's illustrated, the cover's done by Michael Turner, and it's actually having an autograph by Michael Turner. So that is really dope. Michael Turner really missed his artwork, his art style. Speaking of the X Men, come to X Men. Full circle, Excalibur number three, the new series. And number four, actually like Excalibur. But my favorite of the new X series is this one, which a lot of people like, Marauders. Marauders number three. And number four, Storm action on there, really dope. And this is back, this I think this came out, this came out last year. I haven't even been able to show it. This is X-Men number three for a new series. And this is X-Men number three, The Variant by Alex Ross, one of my favorite artists. Really dope. Let's get some DC action. Another dope artist. I'm trying to get as many of these as I can every now and then. Oh yeah, see my, that's my video number 99 in the background. Woo, that Green Lantern number one. Woo, okay. Catwoman, number, what's this, 52? The Adam Hughes cover, really dope. New series has come out, I'm liking it. I think it's, I hate when some, I hate when a lot of creators are trying to appeal to the culture. I think it's starting to happen with some artists and some, and actually this is art, um, this was actually written by a, um, a fiction writer but it's Far Sector number two. And I hope they're, me personally, I don't like when they turn a lot of, have a lot of characters that they just make homosexual. And I hope that's not what they're having with her, but it seems like they are. It's just a preference, you know, as a Christian, I like to have comics that I can show my kids and, you know, and you know, I know comics reflect and stories reflect the world around us and the creators. Everybody had different views and opinions. 
I just don't like it myself. I don't personally don't, uh, agree with the, the lifestyle. Um, I love, I have no hate for people who are any of the LGB whatever, but I have a biblical worldview and that worldview kind of uh, dictates how I, what I do, what I believe, what I buy, all other stuff, just like anybody else's. So I don't like when a lot of characters that they even made Iceman gay. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. They just try to make things like that. So it's a cool story, mystery story. I just hope they're not making her like that because I'm. It's it's like a lot of characters. It's 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 too easy. It's too easy. The hardest thing to do is actually to keep traditional values. It's easy to just go off the rails. But that's my soapbox, my opinion, my thoughts. What do you think? Put them down below. We can talk. All right. <laughs> Keeping on with the DC universe. This is Mortal Men number three. I think the only. I, I'm trying to get. Uh, I just got this. I wasn't gonna get the whole run of Immortal Men, but I think I'm not. I was trying to get the, the first issues of all of the new universe, um, those new characters, and then also get that foil covers. So I think I'm still gonna do that. But this is the only story from when they had the, um, after uh, the, the, the um, Forge and um, the metal and everything, those stories. Only story that has kept going is this, my favorite one, The Terrifics, number 23, still going. Why? Because it's a dope story. This is actually one that is carried strongly by the story. The art is cool. The art is actually pretty good. Um, it's not as well as it was in the beginning, but the storyline has kept this. It's fun and having like comic characters, kind of like, like Plastic Man and Metamorpho combined with kind of serious characters like Mr. Terrific. It's a nice little blend, and then Phantom Girls is kind of in the middle, so it's really, really dope, but terrific, number 23. Grab that, support this series, it's a really dope series. This series, I think it's just a three issue mini series, which I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get, I, I wanna get the variant for this issue, this is number two, and my one of my favorite characters, one of my favorite mythologies in comics, and that's the Green Lantern Corps. Green Lantern Corps, Black Stars, number two, Pal Jordan, Black Star. Really want to see what happens in the, in the last one, which is number three that comes out, I think this month. But really dope. I I wonder they're gonna bring them back into what's going on with Justice League and everything that's happening now. I wonder. Because in the story, Earth is not the same. So I wonder where they are. We'll, we'll read the story, you'll see. This right here is another dope story from the from the main storyline of DC, what's going on. Justice League number 37. Perpetua doing her thing and uh and this is Justice League number 38. And then this is the new series which is starting, which I'm gonna get into after I finish reading Justice League, about the year of the villain, Hell Arisen, number one, blank cover. If I can find those blank covers, I'll grab them. I always can do some illustrations myself because I am an artist, or I can get somebody to draw on it, but that's really dope. Blank cover, Hell Risen. And these four right here are books I've been, I got one of them, but the other three I had to get because I've been looking for this for a long time. Ah, and I found them in great condition also. And that is Green Lantern. As you know, Green Lantern is my favorite comic um, of all of them. Big Green Lantern fan, and this is the um, the, <laughs> the lenticular covers for Green Lantern 23.1, 23.2. First one had Relic. This is Mongol. 23.3 for Black Hand, and one which I already have. This is my second copy of it. Of course, Sinestro 23.4. I found these, got them all. This was 99 cents each also. Really dope. And these right here, the last ones. Got these eBay. I am so happy I got these. Some major books I've been trying to find. Let's get off some of the smaller ones though. Immortal Hulk number 14, had to go back, found the number 14. Really good price, happy to got that. 
And uh, another book I got with me, but I'm gonna show next after this one. But I've been trying to find this book, which is a part of the House of X, which is one I did not get. There's two books I did not get by um by Mike Huddleston, and that's this is one of them, House of X number two, with Storm. I remember when I when it first came out, I didn't get it. I got the other one that had um it was the uh, the action figure variant. I got that. But I want to get this. I actually had this, but I put it down, not knowing it was Mike Huddleston. Ugh. But I finally got it. I'm so happy. Beautiful book. Hard to find at a good price anyway. Happy for it. But this book right here, I am so happy. I'm just going to show the whole collection. Because I've been trying to find this at a good price. Naomi, number one. I have the number one variant, and I have number one, the final printing, the black and the kind of gray with the red, just the second printing, and I have first printing. I am so happy. Really dope. So really all I need is the SDCC version, and I have the whole collection of Naomi's. And I was able to also find the first printing of number two. Of number three, which I had the second printing of both of these, did not have the first printing. Another copy of number four, it's like my second. Yeah, my second. It's my third copy of number five, and my second copy of the last book in the series of number six. So I was really happy to get those. But above all those, I'm just gonna go through them. A book. I am just missing one book from the run. But I was able to find these. So happy. One of my favorite characters outside of Green Lantern or the whole Green Lantern core. Pit from Image Comics. This is actually full bleed when um, Dale Keon went and started his own. It's number 11. These are the ones I was missing. 13. 14. Actually, I have a previous. Um, uh, um, um, comic hall where I got I found number 14 the limited edition of the variant which was my grail so now to get 14 the, the first issue happy to have that 15 16 I think that's my second issue of that one I believe 17 and 19. All I'm missing is number 20 and he also released a pit crew which I'm only missing three issues of that. So that is my haul, kind of a mega haul. Last haul for a bit. First haul of 2020, new year and I'm just really excited about this year, what's gonna want to do with the family. I'm about to, probably, I think we're gonna start another channel. It's gonna be about me and my family. Um, kind of things we we're into and kind of just getting all these things that we're about when it comes to the arts and with our, our lifestyle and we're looking to hopefully do that so we shall see but hope you like the um, the, the video like share subscribe you can still subscribe still got lots of videos still got more videos I just want to put out but put comments down below what you thought about the video what you thought about the books were these some of the ones that you got what were some of the books that you want to get in 2020 what are you trying to dig for? Let us know down in the comments. Let me know. Hope you all enjoyed rocking me these past 100 episodes of Run the Comics. 100 episodes, 100 hauls. And um, I'm going to do some more. I'm going to kind of veer off, do some other things besides this comic hauls. So I hope you dig what I'm about to do. But hey, glad you rock with me. This is Joseph Three Banks for Run the Comics. And uh, I'm signing out. Until next time. Grace and peace.